Hey everybody, this is Nikki, and I'm here to do the next part of um, pulling my T-Slim X2 out of the box and trying to get it set up. Um, this is no medical advice whatsoever. It's not to be used in place of training if training is an option. And the only reason I say that is for my friend Nicholas, who training is not an option, so he was trying to you know get some help. Um, but it really isn't to be used in place of real information. <laughs> so that's that's what that is. Um, including there is real information in your user guide and you can always pick up the phone and call tandem and just say hey I'm trying to get this thing set up and what what do I do um, and I don't think they're gonna leave you hanging but in the meantime I'll try to show you around my own pump as I get my own set up today um, I left off on the last video I got caught up um, trying to explain in setting that and and um, setting up your basal rates, your carb ratio, your correction factor, your, um, I think that was it, and your, um, your target BG. Um, I was just trying to explain, you know, I was trying to explain without demonstrating how to complete that process. I'll just say, follow the prompts. Um, and when you set up the first piece of the basal rate, assuming you have more than one basal rate. Um, so for instance, if my first one is, is set from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m., which is what mine is, um, I'll go ahead and enter all that information. And then when I save it, when I go to add the next basal rate, I would start it at 4 a.m. Um, and each one of those increments is can be customized to fit different carb ratio needs, correction factor needs, um, and I think that's it. I think that those are the things that you can do right there. But um, okay, and now I'm on to the next part. All right, so we've set up carb ratios. Um, the next thing available in my menu is so again, basal IQ is different, but I, there, I have my pump first. And if I scroll down, I have my CGM device settings and then history. Um, my CGM is the next thing under my menu at this time it would be very nice to be able to enter my transmitter ID um, you know insert a new sensor and get that started and I am going to do that before I actually put the pump on and do bolus you know do the first bolus um, but right now my sensor and transmitter are tied to my current pump um, so I'm gonna mess around later and see whether or not I can get them both picking the same transmitter I, I don't think they can um, But for right now, I'm not gonna mess with it. So but that is what I would do at that point and it it is Intuitive <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if I believe that but that's but that's possible um, Under my CGM. Oh, okay under my CGM is where you would you would do your CGM alerts um, But this is also where you would enter a transmitter ID uh, so I think we're going to come back to CGM alerts and then we're going to go down to the next option on, under my menu, which is device settings. I don't think you guys can see any of this. I'm so sorry. Um, my CGM then device settings was next for me. Uh, okay. And this is what you can find under device settings. First of all, there are display settings. Um, my display settings there are only are only pertain to the timeout feature on the screen. Um, I, I always have it set at 30 seconds and I always want to throw my pump because it turns off so quickly. So I'm going out on a limb today and I'm trying 60 seconds. Um, Bluetooth settings are, it says your mobile connection, you have to turn it on. Um, I believe that that is for the T-Connect app. Maybe there's more to it. Um, I'll probably figure it out as soon as I end the video. But for right now, I think it's for the T-Connect app, uh, which I do have on my phone and I do really like. Um, so I'll turn that on and again, I'll pair that device once I have transferred everything over to this pump. Um, next up is time and date. Um, pretty straightforward stuff. It's your time and your date. And then there's the 12 hour and 24 hour stuff, but I won't try to give anybody advice on that because it takes me a couple times every time. All right, and then under that is sound volume. This one I remember very clearly. This is not the same thing as the control IQ menu. Um, sound volume, there, 
located in two different places. They have different functions. Um, under this one, your sound volume, maybe they don't have different functions. Oh, maybe there's just, there's different options under here. Um, but sound volume are your global sound settings for your entire pump, like for, for instance, for all pump alarms. Um, you, what you want all pump alarms to come out at a certain volume or, or to, to vibrate or something like that. Um, and you can go through each category, pump alarms, pump alerts, reminders, um, and you can decide what, what level, volume, or vibration you want to hear those, that category of notification. Um, you can say smart or not, I have my pump alarms set to vibrate, I have my pump alerts set to vibrate, um, I have my reminders set to vibrate, which basically means I don't hear them. Um, I do that because I, I suffer from alarm fatigue and so I don't pay attention to them. Um, it does mean I probably from time to time miss something that it would be very helpful to hear. Uh, it's a personal preference that's you know up to you what you need to hear, what you don't need to hear. The menu is definitely worth um, exploring. The keypad I put to low and that's only because I used to have it on silent. Um, but then I can't tell if I've hit a button or not. So I think I, I don't want to hear, I, I had a baby the last time I did that setting. I had, you know, young, young children. Um, and I didn't like the keypad making sound at night, but I changed that because they don't, because I don't care about them anymore. So I'm less worried. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, bolus vibrate, quick bolus vibrate, fill tubing vibrate, um, CGMs. I'm going to try soft. Um, and then I'm going to try, probably set those to vibrate as well. But again, that's all under uh, sound volume and it's all very personal. And then the last thing is the security pin. And I think that is just whether or not you want to customize, um, you know, the security pin. Okay, we're going to move on. Uh, back out to the options. That's everything that was under my device settings. Um, mm -mm. Okay, so seven and a half minutes. I think I'll take a break um, and then maybe try for the last one. Thanks for watching.